this is Surbi here from Surbi Arts. How are you all? So happy to see all of you today. Today I'm going to share with you a different technique which I'm going to use and that is going to be my Dutch pour flowers which is going to be on a small canvas as you can see here. I've got my canvases ready here and they are base coated with white paint and the colors which I'm going to be using are going to be Prussian, Prussian blue, so nice and bright colors, violet, primary magenta, cyan blue, cadmium yellow, and also going to be using dark shimmery gold as well. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be my Dutch flowers on a small canvas which is 20 by 20 centimeter square canvases two canvases I'm going to be using and I'm going to be having two flowers on each canvas and then I will also try to join them with a string okay so let's start painting okay so to begin with I have as I told you base coated my canvases with white paint and also make sure there are no bubbles so I'm going to be trying and using different combinations of bright colors so the first one which I've got is my primary magenta and it's going to be I'm going to start from here oh it's got a big blob it's fine on top I'm going to be having my blue going to be my try my gold use my gold as well this is a nice lovely shimmery gold so hope we have a nice effect so this is going to be my first one first and so around it with the paint okay and I'm not going to use a blow dry I'm going to be using blowing it with my mouth I'm just covering it basically like that and then blowing it outwards okay so that's my first flower also going to use a heat gun not a blowtorch a heat gun this time see some lovely cells emerging okay. so this so that's one flower done let's try a different flower different color flower here this is my violet with cadmium yellow and going back to it again and then gold on the top as well it's nice shimmery gold so as you can see some gold is lost here so let's see if we can have more gold on this one okay again Can be a little bit tricky sometimes because I'm not using my blow dryer to blow it out. And also, if you see some bubbles, I'm just going to try to get rid of them as well. Okay. So this has lost shape a little bit. Going back to that one, let's torch it first. And then blow it out. Okay. So 
That's my second flower. Use my heat gun again. tricky on the small canvases and also if you have lots of bubbles but I love the colors I love the color combinations let's move on to this one so I think I'm going to be using just spreading out petals a little bit more Moving on to my third one. So if we have a string here, I think I'm going to have one here and one on that side. So one more. Oh, that's quite big. It's okay. You can just, okay. Going back to my gold again on that. Okay, and then some white again around it. Let's torch it first. like that one This one, I think it's just lost the shape. But well, you can always try to fiddle with your fingers, not too much, because then you're going to lose the shape. Okay. That's better. One. Okay, now, last one. I think, mm, I like the purple one, purple color, this violet color. Very nice color. And then I'm going to add, I think, little bit of red no a little bit of yellow this primary yellow cadmium yellow and also try to add in this lovely blue and then go in again by adding this beautiful gold okay so this is the last one Heat gun again. Interesting. It's a lovely flower. Not as big. Not as big as compared to the others, but still beautiful.
perfect. Okay, so I'm happy with these. Now the next thing I want to do is, thinking of adding one more flower here. Let's see if we add, but then we'll have to have one more here as well, just to have the contrast. Okay, but let's see, let's add the strings first. So to add the strings, I'm just going to use a thin line. It's going to come this way going inside okay, like that and from the top it's coming down to join this one and again you have another swirly line just coming out or going inside this one as well so let's see just okay so that's perfect and another one just going to come up from here so that's our flowers for touch board flowers which is joined which are joined by the strings just trying to get rid of some bubbles here I might just like to have one more flower here just a very small one not too big because I love these small flowers and they've come out really really nice and also if you mix the paints maybe a day before or sometimes people mix it a few hours before but I've just done it about one hour before so that's why I had too many um, bubbles then another trick is if you mix the paints a day before you won't have too many bubbles okay just use a torch it's my gun I keep on saying torch it's my gun I'm just turn it around. I think I was being a little bit greedy here, but trying to have a few more flowers, and then I've just lost this one here. So, never mind, you can always go back, just trying to cover this up. Okay, so this one is okay. Just So that's done. So let's try to join this one as well. This way, coming from inside, and we're going to go here. So we join this one as well. So, got six, five flowers here. We can have, we plan to do four flowers, but that's okay. You just learn and you just experiment and you just try things. 
if they work out or if you can do anything better so I think I would like to have one more maybe on that side so using my lovely blue and yellow and gold so let's have some paint around and I might need to turn that around as well one more time one more beautiful flower here Okay, so one more string here coming this way, going inside that one. Perfect. So that's done. My six flowers, Dutch bow flowers, blooms, which are joined. You can see joined with the string. So I hope you love it. I hope you like it. I love it. And I'm so pleased with the color combinations, nice and bright colors. The gold, I think we can see the gold when it's dried and when it's varnished, the gold might lift up then. So, if you haven't, give me a like. Give me a like, please, if you like this. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye, everyone. Hi, everyone. The canvases are ready and they are dried. I love the beautiful color combinations of this one. I think this is one of my favorite flower, Dutch flower. All of them have come out really nice and vibrant. Look at this one, amazing. And I've also added a little bit of glitter. If you can see the shimmer and the shine. And they've come out really, really nice, especially this one with the gold. The blue, the red, the gold. And look at these cells. Beautiful. Very pleased with this one. The purple one, purple and the gold. Amazing. And the blue and the gold. Pretty happy with these. I hope you like them. Do give me a like if you like these subscribe to my channel or leave some comments for me maybe you can give me some suggestions about what different color combinations i should be using for my next dutch bow flowers thank you once again for watching have a lovely day bye now